Hey guys, it's Andrew from Canyonline Adventures. We are going to be trying something new. Uh, I think behind me somewhere. Up oh, there's Lee in the pink. Say hi, Lee. Hi. So, deer season is over. It's January. We are going to try to catch a few raccoons with these dog proof uh, traps my buddy Daniel got uh, hooked me up with. So, thank you, Dan. And uh, I'm gonna spin it around. We're in the creek bottom down here. So this is all very new to me, but we got a nice little trail down here. Some tracks, it looks like they're utilizing. Right down over there. Up through there. So there's some down trees and kinda looks good to me. So we are going to basically take two stakes we're going to cross them do them diagonal give a little more resistance because we're in the middle of two snowstorms right now so this ground is pretty soft anyway already set this one but you pull that part right there together lock in that pin the dog as they say right there and it's set we're gonna drop our bait down there we're gonna use some dog food uh spray a little on these see what happens uh had to work late last night and had an awards program for the girl so i was not able i would like to sit thursday and friday night but uh we're just gonna have to do friday and check saturday this week so Throw them down, not really expecting a lot, but who knows, maybe we get lucky. So we got a couple rebar stakes here. I wanna say they're probably about 18 inches long, maybe 20, I don't know. We're gonna cross them like that, put them down, make them as secure as possible. There's the trap, set on an angle. So the coon is gonna look down in there and I haven't baited it yet, but all right very optimistic we'll see what happens let me get these anyway you pretty much imagine all right just gonna pound those stakes in and i'll get the other one in i think you guys can kind of imagine that <laughs> you know pull me up with that thing mm -hmm. all right guys all experimental just wanted to document this and thankful again for Lee to be here. Having a blast anyway, so we got it in there. I had a little off the trail. I was texting my buddy, uh, Dan. He's a great trapper. He said to uh, put it right in the middle of that uh, trail. So that's what we did. You can see we got our bait down there. A little, uh, call it county line, county line proprietary mixture. We'll see what it does. Might catch nothing and we'll never tell anybody what it is so all right we'll move on to the next one all right guys walk around a little bit picked up a couple of trail cameras you can see right down here there's a whole bunch of tracks so looks like a good spot we'll stick one in right here bait it up and drive our sticks down hey didn't we good number two in or hurry up and set three yep there they are all right guys we're gonna put this last one in we were making good time we're gonna be out of here and want to put the last one in then couldn't find the last two stakes they had fallen on my backpack so we had to go retrack and that only that probably cost us about an hour so that really stinks but anyway we're gonna get it in here Pound out, uh, pound it in, and uh, come back tomorrow uh, morning and check the traps. It was, I don't know, if you knew me, nothing can go perfect. So, anyway, hopefully, it does when we're checking these traps tomorrow. But it costs us time, and see, it's getting pretty close to dark. But, Lee, are you cold? Yeah, she is. So, we'll pound this in quick 
and uh, we'll catch you here in a minute. All right, it's hard to see, but we got a nice little down tree here. Got the trap right down there, ready to go, and can't wait until tomorrow. We'll come in and check her out. All right, guys, it's Saturday morning ish. We had some issues, uh, sick kids, and all that stuff. So, me, Aliyah, and Judah are gonna run down here and catch these traps. It was pretty cold last night, so hopefully, it wasn't too cold for coons, but we'll see what happens. We'll see you down on the farm. All right, we're here. It is too cold. I'm not gonna walk. And the first trap is right down here, which might not be the best set. But uh, I just like the spot. If uh, we don't catch anything there the next couple times, I'll move it. But let's see if we got anything. Where is it? I see. Nothing? Mm, nope, nothing. All right, we'll get out. All right. I, uh, I listened to my guys, and they, uh, they didn't know what they were talking about. I didn't know what they were talking about. our first one. First one guys. <laughs> Alright guys we are one from one. We're gonna get a little closer and we're gonna dispatch this guy. Stand back guys. A pretty big king. Not bad for the first one. Alright we only got three out or one for one so we will dispatch this guy and we'll see uh with the other traps look all right like. have you seen we're one for one so we're gonna see if we can go two for two <laughs> oh it's our day baby it is our day two for two Two for two. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. All right. We will take care of this guy. I'll actually have the kids come down. So hold on, I'll have the kids' reaction. All right. What are we? Two. Two for two. We got one more trap to check. It will. Also, dispatch of this guy. We'll move on to number three. All right, guys. We got. We're two for two. Um, they're both dispatched. We're gonna go pick them up here in a minute. We're gonna check this last trap right down the creek bed. Uh, Judah said last night you think we're getting three, so I said two or three. All right, you're right on two. Do you think you got three or no? Uh, maybe. Maybe. All right. Three. Three. Okay, I'm in the three club now too. So let's go down here and check this trap. You got What do you say, Judah? Uh-uh. Three. Three for three, baby. Yay, 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 yay. First time trapping. There we go. Hi, Alright guys, I made it back to the house. I'm going to get these uh, coons skinned out, which is kind of uh, intimidating to me for uh, being the first time. So, anyway, don't think it's bad. Setting three traps almost seems too good to be true for my uh, kind of luck. Um, just kind of casually getting into it, knowing they're... Uh, were some critters running around down on the farm and uh, just with their livestock and chickens and all that kind of stuff. So it'll probably be a good idea to get a few traps. So my buddy Daniel set me up. Thanks again, buddy, with uh, this Daniel uh, beginning trapper set. And uh, I have some other traps I did not use, but I got three of the dog proof traps. I showed you we set earlier and that's where these guys came from so the one here on the left 
he was the last one that we caught that was down in the creek bottom. All three are males. Apparently this is the raccoon rut, which I had no idea even existed, which if you think about it, I guess I should have known, but I'd never thought about before. So, and it being pretty cold even right now, it's still only about 25 degrees. So, uh, the colder it gets, it's not really prime uh, raccoon weather because it kind of shifts more towards uh, the coyotes and foxes. But uh, I'm just running those dog proof traps that only primarily target raccoons, but you could also uh, get skunks and possums in there um, with their hands. I have to look back, I think two of them were actually um, double caught. Uh, like double handed so anyway I am gonna get these skinned out and then put them in the freezer uh, and flesh them at a later time at a uh, our buddy's house that has the proper equipment It'd make it a lot easier uh, but we're gonna run these down and uh, put them up on the game roll and all that stuff and uh, see how it goes but for the first time guys not too bad three for three i will probably grab a few more dog proof traps because they are so simple to set and uh where i uh where i put these at there are actually neighbors that do walk their actual dogs down there so i mean that dog proof you know so it's gonna roll out your pets and then coyotes foxes all that kind of stuff so anyway i will kind of like to get on them at some point but this is an easy way to start and uh i'm happy with it so guys keep on watching and uh as we kind of learn more about trapping and uh kind of made it look easy today but uh i know that's normally not how it goes for me so guys thanks for watching and you all have a good day